Hello, lovely people. My name is Samoy Shanky. And I would like to ask these few questions, or even ask yourself the same questions. How do you feel about politics? Does your faith allow you to discuss or even get involved in politics? What should a Christian's position be regarding politics and governance? Are Christians to get involved or avoid it altogether? I want to specially invite you this evening to SBN's election campaign, Race to the Seat. God bless our homeland. God bless. Onyame Ishira, Emperor Ghana, so. Nyungo, Aja, Wajakumo, Ghana. Now, one song to the Shall we pray? Father in heaven, we thank you for life. We thank you for how far you brought us as individuals, as families, as your church, and as a nation, Ghana. We thank you so much for our upcoming elections in 2020. And we pray that, Lord, this peace campaign by the Shalom Broadcasting Network on behalf of the Ghana Baptist Convention would move the process of a peaceful election forward. And that, Lord, we, your people, will live in peace and prosperity beyond the 2020 elections. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I come to you today on behalf of the President of the Ghana Baptist Convention in partnership with the Shalom Broadcasting Network to launch the campaign for a peaceful 2020 elections in Ghana. For those of us who have been around here for some time, we know that elections in Ghana have become times of tension and a lot of violence has been recorded in the processes leading to elections and during elections. As God's people, 
and agents of God's peace in the land, we want to set aside this 14-day period of fasting and prayer to reflect on the concept of Christian involvement in politics and most importantly, how we as God's people can bring about a peaceful process to our election um, in this nation. And you know, and eh, the ayer jine hu eni se se nyamin kwa fo e kwa ye faso e bwa se amanyo sem ebe koso e wo yen chrome gan yen yen man gan emu na ye di asomdre se nyamin ma ata sa jumadi echi na mijina yen so for penying yam Baptist Convention President anemu. Uh, Reverend Dr. Nsa Dujemfi, and the Shalom Broadcasting Network (SBN), Eddie the Kambum, and the Sa Jumadi Eba, Senebe Bwa, Ama Yen Christo for Ya Jini, Efa Amanyo Sem Eni Asomje Ehu Senya Christo for Ya Huno. Na Mekase Eko Tua Basa Ya Na Omani Nina Ma Ajija Efise. Basa basa yo eni nyama bibri esi na se nyamin krofu wano. E nida so se asongi ebeba. Se nebe ya e, bibi abe kwa ye. Nyama minu na midibe tu ye nim ene. E, mra ye vini sa nse minu. Dye di kain. Adenti ne hiya se nyami ya safo. E di ye humbe she amanyo se muna ya she se asongi ebe woho. Andi ye toswo minu. E, kwa mbe nso na ebe faso ama asongi aye juma. Oh, ye mammu, emra, ye tuaba, ye ye aman yourself. Uh, we'll be reflecting on two main things. And the first is why is it important for us as the people of God to have a concern for the peace of the nation in the midst of our political exercises? And secondly, we'll be looking at how can we as Christians practically contribute to establishing national peace in the midst of our politicking. And so let's go into the first subject, why the church should be concerned about peace in our nation at this time and always. First, our individual prosperity, according to the Bible, is linked to the corporate prosperity. The national prosperity speaks into our individual prosperity and our individual prosperity finds expression and meaning and security only within the context of the national prosperity and security. When you read Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 7, the Lord through the prophet Jeremiah spoke to the people of Judah who were about to go into captivity in Babylon. And he said these words to them, when you get into that place of your captivity, because God was sending them into that captivity for their sinfulness, he says, seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it, because if it prospers, you too will prosper. Judah. My Emra and Yan Kupong and Nam deal for Jeremiah, so any or more Kasa and he said, Mobile Quo, Unquasum, Mobile Quo, no mu, a war, Babylon. Now, me shamu say, Munya echo druhua, Mumum pie a massacrona, Macomono, a free say, say a ye ye a macrona, a bay ye a mam. And that is how it is with us as Christians in this nation, Ghana. Individual blessings cannot find full expression when the context of our existence, our national life and society is jeopardized by violence, either in the election situation or after election situation. And Tehunia said, Omaya and Yankopo in here, a simu, and here, a betinamu, said Ghana for you. The Bebom Pai Ama, yeah, my Ghana. Na ya shwe se asomwe ebe ba o maimu se ne be ya yenzo ya asomwe ebe tina hoda. De toso mi eno, it is the will of God that we live in peace. The second reason is that it is the will of God for us to give it, to live in peace. Why we as the church should, should spend time in praying and fasting for the next 14 days is to invoke this will of God into operation. Nyankopon epe ene se yen. 
ye betna e wa som dwe na nyama kwa ye ama ye. In First Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, the Apostle Paul writes to Pastor Timothy, he says, I urge then, first of all, that request, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for everyone, for kings and those in authority, that we may live in peace and quiet in all godliness and holiness. Uh, Timothy, whom I decline tea, me no teacher, mo de decline me no no. I say, or small for Paul, let's talk about sofo ah or de Timothy. I can't tell you, sir. Me show, sir, sofo Timothy. Uber share, sir, Debiano, and Pi Bonnie Cotto, sir, any adis a bisa a bisa deany in the and and that's here. Ebe free nyamis a sorry ho ama ni penny na ama him fo any nkrofoa or mu wa to me na or che no de entia or can say send ne be ya mu amu ya jidi for no mu betina wa sum dream na mu wa tom ewa mu nyami sum any mu pronko ye mo. Our spirituality as a people is linked to our peace as a people. And the church cannot have its freedom and its peace to meet and, and, and grow and do ministry when there is chaos and confusion in our society. We as a church that is moving to the fulfillment of the Great Commission must realize that we need to pray and work towards the peace of the land so that the environment will be created for the propagation of the gospel and for the work of ministry to be done. God wants us to live in peace. And therefore, we have a responsibility as a church to focus on this peace. In the third place, God is pleased when we pray to ensure peace. This is good. And pleases God our Savior, who wants all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. Or see, a ye na a swear radia nim se ye be bom pa ma him for any ni penny na send a be ya asum ye be woho. If he say, and nam sa asum ye ya e bebanu emu and a kwan be da ho na yet mia kan ya mia sem na man fa be jedi if we say eye nya mi pe se ni pa beba abe ji edi. Se basa basa ye ewa kromwa. Yan to me en ko en ko kanya mia sem. Manipa abe jedi na omanya en kwa. The toso en nine. The fourth place, the reason why we should be concerned about the peace of the land in this period of elections and after and always is that it is the purpose of God that we live the abundant life. It is the purpose of God that we as Christians live the abundant life. What do we mean by this? The ministry of the church is the pursuit of the twofold purpose of the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, why did Jesus come to the earth? There are two answers to that. In the first place, Jesus came into this earth so that we shall be saved from our sin and our trajectory to hell by being reconciled to God through his sacrifice on the cross. Me see, the entire, and here I say, a beckon as some give one seminar, a dear tree, and he say, a young coupon ni per se, ye betna, na ye who are toying. Ye betna, a was some dream. Ye betna, a bibia, a cosso jojo, a maye. Now, maybe I say, the entire, yes, you crystal buy it on any day. Near my new teacher, the other kind. And it's a radi Jesus Christo, a by a yasimo say, or the nuba to ho abba for ye, a dear dear young qua. If your bones some to me, I say, now what can yang any young coupon abom, my yang and quanje. Jesus Christo by a dear dick and say, a benya and quanje, a one demo. The second place, our Lord Jesus Christ came to the earth so that we who believe in him might live the abundant life. The toss of me and say, Radius Christopher, as I see so said a bear, yeah, I beg you, Nedino, 
ya shitina no ebe ebe ya somdwe eni nkoso in, in John chapter 10 verse 10 Jesus said the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy I have come that they may have life and have it to the full or see or we for no dia oba se obe wia na we kom na wa se na media ma ba se mo benya nkwa na mo anya enkwa ebrosho enkwa ebrosho eni se wa sum ejo bibibia en hao wo sika ye di twa wo ka no etumi eto niam a wo hia e di abɔ wo bra di ahwe wa busua na se o ma ne mu ni pa e wo ho no e ye basa basa ye na aman ye sem aye ade a en fa so ngi en ba wo wo sika kra wo boto mu a wo ntumi en kwa bontin wo to wo ka wo ntumi twi e wo krom afri se ni pa boni ye fo e di e betu ahye wo so the abundant life of god negates the destructive intentions and plans of the evil one obon some by say obe kum na wa wiana wa se but nyankopon enam se nyama ekwa ye wo ye nkrom no ese sa nyama no police for to me your mwadwuma say soldier for to me your mwadwuma nurse for ye your mwadwuma doctor say your mwadwuma e to me etna e bobra ye yare ya nim se hospital papa bi wo ho ye ko ye makwa school ya nim se atwetwe for papa e wo ho that is the abundant life that god wants us to have apart from being saved from hell god intends and wants us to have a life that is peaceful, a life that is meaningful, a life that is enjoyable. But in the fifth and the final place, why should we as God's church be concerned about peace? In the lead up to elections, in our, in our election day situation, and after the elections, but also generally in our life as a people. Number five, there are blessings for the peacemaker. There are blessings for those who make peace. As God's church, our Lord Jesus Christ taught us in Matthew chapter 5, verse 9, it says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the sons of God. In James chapter 3, verse 18, it says, Peacemakers who sow in peace raise the harvest of righteousness. Emma omwa omu pe asumbye e ye hwen juma. Na yeshwe Matthew chapter 5 verse 9 na. Yesu Christo e kan se. Yeshwe en kan omwa omu e pe asumbye. Efri se e be fwa wun yon kropom emma. Yeshwe James chapter 3 verse 18 so se. Omwa omu yeshwe asumbye e chikwain. E dya e wa asumbye mu. Na omu cha no baya e ye. Che se. Tini ni ye e no baya. There are blessings for those who, who create peace in the workplace, who create peace in the family, who create peace in the society, but who create peace in the political environment. These are reasons why we are going to spend some time fasting and praying uh, for the peace of God upon the nation Ghana. But let's ask the question now, how can we pursue national peace as Christians? How can we pursue national peace? Let me share a few thoughts on that. In, in 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 10 to 12, we read, Whoever would love life and see good days must keep his tongue from evil and his lips from deceitful speech. He must turn from evil and do good. He must seek peace and pursue peace. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Quite ben so na ye befa, na ye to me a ye nipa o mudi asomje etre emma asomje etna o maemo. If we say yen yan kuponu o ya somje hini, na somje no e bo e raye mu emma ye ni nyan kupon enya asom asomje. Na enweche no, sa asomje no e bo e ra nipa ye ni omu etna. And to me, kind first Peter chapter 3, verses 10 to 12. Yen chit yam bubu muka kra kra na yen tin yama biase. At least nyama nsombi a wohono. Yen shwe na yen fa and tu yam bottom. Kwa ebe faso edi asomdwe aye juma ma asomdwe atna 
ya buro no so ya nkromo ya busuamu ya yani ya ya dwuma ya fuomu eni yani afofro e mu seven principles of practicing peace especially in the midst of our political environment for today in the first place determine to see life and good days the first thing for anyone who would want to pursue peace is that we must have a desire to see prosperity and peace. And that's what he said in the verse 10. Whoever would love life and want to see good days, that there must be something in you as a person which says, I want to see good times for, for this nation. And I think everyone who has this in his mind, that we want to see Ghana as a prosperous, advancing, and peaceable environment for bringing our families up, would want to do whatever is in our power to ensure peace. So desire peace. Desire peace for yourself. Desire that God will bless you with peace. There are thoughts on you. Be careful how you talk. In verse, verse 10, the second part, it says, whoever will love life and see good days must keep his tongue from speaking evil and his lips from deceitful speech. In the third place, refuse to be an accomplice in evil plottings of evil people. In verse 11, he says, you must stand from evil and do good. You must seek peace and pursue it. So, Number four, remember that God is watching. God is watching. Wherever you are, whatever we are doing, God is watching. And when people plot evil and they do dubious things, things that will destabilize the peace of the nation, God is watching. In verse 12, it says, The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. And his ears are attentive to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. And God is watching in order to recompense. God will pay. And Efa ubihu, efa aman yo sembi kuobihu, efa nipa bihu. Na enye no kwa ya babo se nyan krupon eshwe. Se papa na ye yo, boni na ye yo, God is watching. Remember that God is watching. And whenever you are anywhere planning and plotting and talking with people, remember God is watching. Number five, be patient under provocation. Be patient under provocation. Look at Proverbs chapter 16, verse 32. So 16 times 2 is 32. So you remember this. Proverbs 16, 32 says, Better a patient man than a warrior, a man who controls his temper, than one who takes a city. Or see, Obia or what about your train? Or chain Obia or yeah, or Kufo. If we say, am I your same Emre Imuno? Who will be now or Cassa? Who better say, Sabi, Ebia, or Nimegasin Semina, and or what to me, or Kun Essia, or bet to me, a Gina man, Naman your same, a Jubia so Kunim. The Bible say, 
Ya owo abojo cheno. O chen okufo. So we need people who are patient. People who will talk politics with patience. People who will share their opposing views with respect for the other party. And God demands that we rather be patient people than to be aggressive people and to pretend to have the power to um, subdue everybody else. Nyabodutre na obi eye bibi ekan bibi etiawa emma obu enfu. Do not be provoked by the provocations of the provocateur. But in the sixth place, decide to forgive those who offend you. If we are going to have peace in, in, our, in our elections this year, and if you are going to have peace in your marriage, in your family, in, in your community, we must acknowledge that people offend us all the time. And in the church, people offend us. In the workplace, people offend us. And if we are to live peaceably with them, it behoves us to decide to forgive. Decide to forgive those who offend you and do not take vengeance. Look at what the Bible says in Romans chapter 12, verses 19 to 21. It says, do not take revenge, my friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge, I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Jamaicanus said, Se yebe ma asomdwe atena yeni yenu anum ntem. Se nebe ya asomdwe ebe tena ye kromu, ye busuamu, ye juma, bebe ya ye juma ni bide kan hua. E hun hi ase yebe si ya gwen pe se, ye di boni ebe che. Na ye nto ye hun ore. Nyankopon se, a reto e ye me nyankopon media. Wa, wa tanfo, e hi ye juan ni amanu bidni. Ye shu e nimu se, ye ndi si fo, but to me, I catch MP before say, Mumba fire and canopy seem Mufanko Yemu rally. MP before to me, I catch an entity for say, Unconya Muhia Biadia Koya Mu programming, Mumba fire day in Confancoye. Now, some more come one send me another way and be beer, a mammy before, midi chemu. Sa, Nebema, I saw Jabba. Now, so be I say, Wo too many back home, and to miss me too any back one. Every yano, yan 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 a nipper woman in a near fra, if you say a tutu yen in a yen yen yam yam and my young a a cook could draw any or joy yadi check yadi fabon yet check and a bay ya yammy as soon be a beba yen so they talk to our midi and my yen a ya dear a yeti trupa. I mean, bump I say a betty a supermo and no any say pray earnestly to God. The, the final um step to take in. In, in seeking peace for our nation and our families and our workplaces and our communities is to pray earnestly to God. In Philippians chapter 4, verses 5 to 7, it says, Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Or see, mamu ma bibia en titi mu en ha ha mu mu na en yene en ha mu. Na din na mu no mu fa mpai bo eni kutoshe eni adibisa eni asida ema mu mpai bo Andrew eradi eni. Na ibanu sanoa. Nyang Kropon Asomdwe a e tra nipa inti asen yina suono. Ebe kura mwa kuma ene mwa dwin e wwe radi Yesu Christo. Nyame asomdwe ena e ma asomdwe mapa e ba nipa abrabono. Nyame asomdwe ena e ma asomdwe mapa etina ebusyamu. Nyame asomdwe ena e ma Cro any of my any asomdwe ah a tintim hall. And so if we are crying for peace, 
And we are looking for our politicians and our leaders and our people to, to conduct our political exercises in a peaceful way. We need to cry to the God of peace that he might give us the peace of God. When the peace of God reigns in the community, that community will know true peace. Brothers and sisters, in concluding this presentation, I want to say that the God of the Bible is a God of peace. And he has established his peace between us and him. But if you are listening to, to, to this presentation and you have not experienced the peace of God, and I wish to present to you that Jesus Christ came to die so that the peace between you and God will be established. And when you have that peace of God in you, then you can affect others with that peace and create an environment of peace for others. May God bless you. May God bless our homeland Ghana and make this nation great and strong, both to defend forever the cause of freedom and of right, to fill our hearts with true humility and make us cherish fearless honesty. And God bless this nation and move this nation forward. May these elections this year be peaceful. May the day of elections be a peaceful day. And may the days after the declaration of results continue to see a Ghana that is united, that is prosperous, because it is God's will that we, his people, live in peace and prosperity. May God bless you and the peace of God which surpasses human understanding. Keep your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Amen. Shall we pray? Father in heaven, we thank you so much for the fact that you are the Prince of Peace. We, we give you honor and worship. And we pray that, Lord, you will help us to understand why we should pursue peace. And grant us the power of the pursuit of peace. We thank you for Ghana. We thank you, Lord, that you will do for us what you have done in the previous elections. And we shall be careful to give you all the praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. The idea of Christian TV stations being a part of the national elections is quite an unexplored space. And as a predominantly Christian TV station, SBN TV decided to step into that space to explore all its possibilities, blazing the trail in that regard. Our purpose for being a part of this electoral process is to use the power of media and our influence as Christians to spread hope in the midst of all the potential chaos and violence. We are looking forward to doing this by cutting down on all manner of negative speeches, words that incite anger or violence, to cut down on party bias statements, and also to eradicate totally or exponentially the spread of fear. Hello everyone, my name is Isaac and I'm your visual graphics and video editing person here at FBN. And this is where all the post-production takes place. Now in this maiden edition of SBN elections campaign, there are two things that is important to us. The first thing is to ensure the spread of positivity. And the second one is to ensure that what we churn out is credible and trustworthy. So the team here at SBN solicited the views and opinions of the general public. And with all the opinions that we gathered, it's important to ensure that our aim is met. That is to the spread of positivity, as well as the aim to ensure that credible information is put out there. And how do we do this? Through post-production. Because in post-production, we can ensure that words that may incite anger and violence are taken out, as well as anything that may disrupt the peace that we have in this country is taken out. So basically, that is where I come in with post-production. At SBN, we respect the rule of law in Ghana, and we respect the process of selecting our national leaders. Race to the Seat is SBN's special election coverage. 
The focus is to provide an avenue for Christians to receive insights on the electoral process, to engage in discussions around our elections, and to undertake our civil responsibility by exercising our franchise. So why are we doing this? Our Lord Jesus Christ said, give unto Caesar what belongs to Caesar. This implies that Christians have a moral and civil responsibility to contribute to issues of national interest. And in this regard, going out to vote in the upcoming December 7th election. We intend to do this by rolling out a couple of programs geared to giving you the utmost election experience, bearing in mind that we are promoting positivity and hope as the elections go on. As much as people will be trying to incite violence and anger and cause stares in different parts of the country, it's our responsibility as Christians and as citizens of Ghana to stand in the gap and intercede for the nation. There will be a 14-day prayer and fasting program prior to the election day. We will also have interviews with key stakeholders from the presidency of the Ghana Baptist Convention, amongst others. We will have messages from the general public expressing their opinions about the elections. On election day, SBN will be telecasting in real time the electoral process from across the length and breadth of Ghana with our media partners. We also have real-time news translation in our local dialect. Now, here is where you, our viewers, come in. We encourage you to get friends and family to watch SBN TV during this period, as well as engage with us both on TV and on all our social media platforms. Thank you. As we approach the, this year's election, on behalf of the Ghana Baptist Convention, I would like to appeal to the general public, especially our youth, to do everything we can to make this election peaceful. I'm appealing to all political parties to go about their political activities with decorum, to ensure that our election is peaceful without any trouble. I appeal to all young people, do not allow yourself to be used in any way to cause trouble in our country. This is the only country we have. Let us all live in peace and go through this election process peacefully. God bless you. My name is Otiku Afisa Jaba, the Executive Director of the Henry Jaba Memorial Foundation. I work with persons with disability. I am an advocate for peace. I believe that there is life beyond 2020 elections and nobody should die or get injured because of any election. I want to admonish the young people especially that fights and quarrels can turn anybody into a person with disability. And you can lose your life and it is not worth it. Ghana needs you. Please, parents, admonish your young men. Please, political parties, all of us, are each other's keeper. There is life beyond the 2020 elections. We must all say no to violence and say no to fighting and no to quarrels because Ghana needs each one of us. Everybody is important. There is no need to go and fight. We can agree to disagree and communicate, but we are warriors, not for violence, but warriors for peace. I, Otiku Afisa Jaba, am an advocate for peace. Will you join us? To be advocates for peace because Ghana needs peace. Thank you. Hello lovely people of God. My name is Pastor Ellie Song. We all know that we are drawing closer to the election on the 7th of December wherever you're coming from. The Greater Accra, the Eastern, the Northern, whether you are Ashanti, whether you are Ghana, whatever tribe, 
that you belong to, we all have to focus on the peace of this country. We come together to form an Ghana. So on the 7th of December, I want us all to go out and vote, whether you belong to NDC, whether you belong to NPP. After the voting, just go home, wait for the electoral commission to announce the winner. And after that, you can just jubilate for whoever is going to be the winner. I want you to know that peace is one thing that we all have to fight for and not a political party. Thank you so much and the Lord bless you. Nipadudua na abo ya baso. Iti mra yeji kebi wami kebi tu mwa gana mayemu. Kwa ya faso tu ya ba. Eni se ni yeji umwa yemu. Gana baba ya maimbia. Ya jiatu msabana da sumbye. Finche mni pepe ipa ya wabatu mwa. Si ya sisa ambe mwa. Ya di tu mi. Eshe amano ko mienu aji di mwa gana mayemu. Ya wasu piyo kwa anso. Iti 1992. Mi se a inti nou, ya beto on safre titi lou, en ni ya koukou dam, a be jou me diye sou, en ou mbe chere koma jwe yi, en ou fa batou a ye beto yi, en ni ni ya tonne de danon. Esbi en en soto on safre ou, se bra, be ka yan hon, bra be chwe jou me diye sou chon kwa ya che che, a ya tou ni din se raise to the seat, a ya de bra ou, ni a jwe nou mdi en ou a jwe en chre, a sou nou nou yen sam, ni a chre chre ou, a batou a ou sou, Onsem, ye yi di achire ou. Ye wien soa, ye di tu wis, a kwanchire eni mpa e wo di e si wo, e di a shesha oso o main mapa, a shesha wo te wo, un hon hon, a wo di e si e si e wo, e di e ba 7th December election ou. Kame wè, mre kwe anana, eni mi SBN team, e mra ye di, raise to the city, jume di e a shesha no strong kon, e di bro wa kwen yon. Jume di e sha si e, 15th November, e kopi m 12th December, Race to the seat, a special Christ-centered election coverage. Shalom. You know right, you're sassing me. Airport in the my eye. Moja na na num shiegu edigu on my eye. The practice of democracy in Ghana has been applauded by many especially with the way elections are conducted and its outcome. Since 1992, Ghana has been noted for its consistent, peaceful, free and fair elections and transition of governors where power has been handed over peacefully between the two major political parties in the country. People of faith will be involved in the upcoming elections via their roles in the process, just as they have in the previous general elections. SBN invites you this November to participate in our maiden election drive dubbed Race to the Seat, where we will provide you with credible election coverage, public opinions, peace messages, electoral education, and a two-week fasting and prayer program. All these and more to prepare you to undertake your civic and spiritual responsibility to the Republic come December 7th. From November 15th to December 12th, join me, Samuel Soyanki, and the SBN team as we bring you our election drive, race to the seat, a special Christ-centered election coverage. Shalom. Oppressors rule with all our will 
and might forevermore and help us to resist oppressors rule with all our will